Welcome back, we're on day 18. Um, I have been quite good with not getting very involved in the media and statistics and numbers and things. Um, but I've been reading stats and things again about COVID. And last night I had some bad dreams, not quite nightmares, um, but they involved a general feeling of helplessness and um, from being stuck in scenes of looting to not being able to access grade one applications for my little boy for next year. Um, so the whole thing was really just um, a bit of helplessness for me. So, and I was thinking, what if everything that we are doing isn't enough? So um, I've cut this lock uh, again on the Brothers Cannon Cut. I made it slightly bigger than the page. It really fills the page. What I like about it is that it's a heart, but it's also a lock, um, you know, sort of trapped. So I'm going to do a single page. Um, that, and then I've got one of these photo strips. Um, I must just be careful that I can still see the lock, right? Because I would want to do it that we are locked or that we are, you know, that you're definitely behind bars um, and then something about, you know, what if it's, it's a good position, right? Because, and then there's a big storm rolling in, so you may hear some funny noises with uh, branches and things on the roof. Um, so that's my start for now. Um, I just want to see how much uh, color and contrast I bring in. Um, so let's start. I'm gonna I'm gonna white gesso the page. I've done both sides for in case I decide to do a double page, um, and then I've purposefully did it very messy, like almost dry brushing over it, so that it's not as smooth. Almost like when they paint over a graffiti wall just to get the graffiti gone, something like that. I've used no yellow in this journal so far, and I very rarely use yellow. Um, and this is a proper yellow. But I do want to make it like an announcement or a, um, like a, a warning. I'm doing it over the wet gesso with a flat palette knife and scraping a whole lot of it off again so I'm just doing whatever I'm doing on the one page on the other because I'm not sure how I'll use the pages yet Some of the blacks coming through. Um, and then this side is drying quite quickly. And then I'm just scraping some of it off again. I cut the heart out of the index of a map book, so um, it's just country names and place names. Uh, that is a text. Uh, I like that. Yeah, the vintage has a yellow tone, right? Sepia tone, so the yellow is not wrong. To play against the yellow so that this doesn't go away, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear emboss it. I mean, you guys know I love yeah, embossing and embossing powder and the effect it gives. It's a very thick one. Uh, it's the Ranger one, and you can see the, it's almost like sugar crystals. It's that thick. Um, I don't think I'm gonna give it a color because I do like the names of the places shining through. I do have this little stamp, it's a hand holding clocks, which I think I'm going to stamp over it before I emboss it, now probably if I had a mask, um, and then clear emboss it and then just overlay it that it matches up again, hopefully that works. 
I like that effect. If you can see it. I just use the stays on to stamp over the acrylic. So now I'm going to clear ink the, the lock and then thick emboss it. I'm aware that the photo strip must still come behind um, and maybe will obscure some of the stamping again but I didn't necessarily want stamping on the faces. Okay that's embossed you can see it's it's a thick like a almost like you nail varnished it and it's also make the made the black stamping quite glossy now so now it's just to um, line it up of a sort again it's not crazy um, and then I can stick it down but first I will just make sure that I keep the strips down. I'm always so worried that I stick stuff down and then I thought oh but something must be behind it or whatever it's almost like I want to lay out the whole page and then stick it but at the same time unless it's stuck you don't really see how it is. Um, so at some point I guess you just need to make a call. I've um, stuck the faces down or the Polaroid strips or whatever. I'm just going over um, outlining it very roughly with just like a, a fine liner um, because once it's stuck down I won't be able to I'm painting on the glue. The cutout's also slightly easier, slightly sturdier to work with now that it's been embossed. Because it was on vintage paper, it was actually quite fragile. But now that it's embossed, it's slightly thicker. Um, so it is easier. That's stuck down. Um, I did do a brayer. The benefit of having used the stays on is the glue, the wetness of the glue, the moisture in the glue doesn't react with the ink at all. So that's done. It goes a little bit over the page but that's fine for me. Um, and you can definitely see uh, it's a lock but it's also, you know, time, it's also a prison, it's also a heart. So. I like that. Okay. I've got a piece of wallpaper sample. Um, it's mounted on the blackboard, but it's actually too big. It's like a silvery hessian. I'm going to take it off the backing. I want to see if I can stencil on it. I love the texture. It's You can hear it. So I think I'll do the sentiment, even though I wanted to do a single page, just a very stark stenciled sentiment on this, because obviously I can't, it's too fat, I can't stencil on this side. I just don't know how much there will be bleed in this, and if I gesso it, I think the texture goes. Let's see. I'm sitting now, I'm not standing anymore, so if you hear a creak, that's my chair. I've got my very big stencils this time. And I think today, because someone on the groups had asked, why are you always doing stuff in English? Or why do we as journalists always do stuff in English? So I think I'm going to do te lot, too late with a question mark. Um, because that's sort of how, you know, I'm unsure on timing and where we are and things like that. I'm going to start with the, it's black suit and see how this takes the stencil because I've got another piece if it fails and we can uh, try something different. That's quite good actually. I had to I had to really work it into the stencil. Um, if I had lined up the letters maybe better but I may or may not uh, go over them. So on the page, that's what it looks like. I like the graffiti with the yellow. Um, I like the look of this actually. So now I need to do lot. I've done it a lot. Um, I could get away with it because of the T being able to tuck over the A because I didn't have that much space. I've got a question mark to do. I think I'm going to do that in a in a yellow, in a red. 
It feels to me like I'm just doing it in a different color, but actually, it's probably okay to just do it in black, right? Yeah, okay. So that stencil that cut off the extra, when I tore it off the backing, that little bit of frame stayed. I quite like it. And then I've got packaging. What is this? Like foam. But I like the texture. I don't know if I must just do a little, a little something. And it also sits a bit higher. Um, it's so difficult with this journal. <laughs> Being so lopsided now. Um, it probably doesn't add a lot, but it does add a nice texture. Maybe I cut just a strip of it. I like it. I mean, it's a tiny little thing, and you know, without it, the page won't be lost. But I do actually like it. I may actually just brad it um, to make it look slightly more. Uh, industrial like a poster nailed up against the wall something got and something that I don't use very often is a file fastener I must just see how I think it's going to impact the letters because the owls right at the end but maybe on the top yeah I like that or another option these are highly decorative uh, pins I love using pins I don't care they don't poke me I mean um, and sort of just pin it to the page. I specifically like that it's yellow. Um, so what I can do is I can probably just do a, a test run. Maybe use both. I quite like the pull because the pull is almost like out of place. I actually like that a lot rather than the file fastener, but I must remember the file fasteners for a different page. I like that. Um, I don't know that I'll do both though. Um, I don't think I'm going to do two pins, no. I think one's enough. Tiny little element. I like the pull, you know, why not? Um, one of my favorite songs by Die Evils Fantastis um, is uh, Nora Cascanores. So I think I'm going to put a tiny little bit of the lyrics there. Um, that's, I mean, obviously it's not strictly applicable to the situation that we're in, but um, it's been stuck in my head and I think it matches. So. My writing is atrocious though. Mini stamps, maybe. Okay, uh, this is where we are now. That's a little piece of text from the song. I'll link the song in any case. I think I must go around the lock with a marker just to let it stand out. I think that's better now that it's uh, outlined. I didn't do all of the cutouts because I don't want to go over the faces. Um, and I want to keep some of the clocks intact. So I think that gives the idea. Um, maybe just here to... So that's a definite COVID uh, reference page, uh, lockdown, the time, the people, all of that. Um, some interesting textures, I really like the textures on this page. And I'm glad I tried the yellow because very often I think yellow is quite scary. But actually I think because of this intense um, bit of highly textured, it's like a champagne colour I guess. Um, that balance the yellow thanks again for watching um, and have a listen to the song maybe you like it maybe you learn something and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye